So in this video, let's uh, talk about uh, using and creating groups in Tableau. So what I've done uh, to get us started is I've just created a simple scatter plot um, where I've got sales on the x-axis and profit on the y-axis, and we're looking at this by subcategory. Um, and so um, the way what we might want to do with groups is um, uh, try to distinguish between uh, those subcategories that have high sales and high profit. So I, I'm, even though there, there's a pretty wide scatter going on here, I'm going to select these two items, copiers uh, and phones, um, to include in that. And, and maybe I'll include accessories as well. I want to create a group out of these three subcategories. To do that, I simply, so, so there's different ways to do to do this. You could select marks in a view or you could create um, uh, a, a, a group uh, by going, in this case, by going to, to subcategory, um, going to create, and then selecting group. Um, so I'm going to do it by selecting the marks. So I'm selecting each mark. Uh, I'm holding down either the control on a Windows or the command key on a Mac. Um, and you can see I've got all three of these uh, selected and now I'm going to um, choose this uh, paperclip icon for grouping. You can see it says group members and I've just created a group um, and Tableau automatically has put everything else in the other group and we'll see how we can modify that later on if we want um, and the other group is in gray so it's sort of in the background so we're just highlighting what's in the group and you'll notice that tableau re get pr by default provides a name for the group and it's based on the the name of each of the individual marks so this is now called accessories copiers and phones um, but what i'm going to also do is i want to have these right here um, included in in the group in, in the group as well these these are obviously um, high sales and high profit, and these are um, uh, 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 low profit. So these are, are more high profit, low profit, right? So let's go ahead and select all of these. Let's see, um, that didn't work right. Let's see if I can get it, get all of them in. And I'm going to hit Command so I get all of those. And now when I go to the group, um, you can see it adds that to the group and again it renames them art and envelopes and labels and fasteners and gives it a another color remember these are categorical colors so now we're looking at um, the the profitable um, the, the highly profitable group and the low profitable group and then um, right here we've got some that that are unprofitable these three categories but right here um, we've got something that certainly seems like an outlier in that it has you know fairly high sales um, uh, but is uh, um, uh, showing a negative profit so I'm going to select that and also um, add that to the group um, and now what I'm going to do is I want to change the names of, uh, of these um, uh, uh, you know the the label names for for each of these groups and you could do that several ways but I'm going to go over here to the data pane where we have this group now I'm going to go to the drop down menu and click edit group um, and now you can see the groups that were created um, you can see what's in the group I am going to click on that group and say rename it and that is my high profit group um, and uh, then my art envelopes, fasteners, etc., is my low profit group. And uh, then tables, um, I'm going to just simply rename to an outlier, right? Um, and then you'll notice that we have this other, right? And that's because by default, when we were selecting things in the view, Tableau created this other. Um, uh, other category and that's everything that's not in any of those groups the high profit group the low profit group or, or the outlier group I'm gonna leave it like that for now um, I'm gonna say um, uh, okay and oh we haven't done anything but change you know the the, the labeling here for um, the legend um, to, to make it more uh, to make it um, uh, 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 better 
just describing what, what we're looking at, high profit group versus low profit group versus this outlier. And of course, if we want to change the colors, um, we can. If I want to make that outlier stand out, you know, I can make it um, red and maybe that pops a little bit and brings our uh, attention to it if that's what we want to bring our attention to. The last thing I want to show you is, um, let's go ahead and edit the group. If we don't include other, um, then notice what happens. Um, now every other category that's either not in the high profit group that has this blue shading or the low profit group that has this orange shading or the outlier group that has the red. So that, that grouping is maintained, but now we're seeing everything else. Um, all the other subcategories that are not in any of those um, groups. And so that that may, depending on what you're trying to do, what's the purpose, what's the, the underlying context of your visualization, you may want to include another group or um, you may not. Um, and you ha have the option uh, of uh, doing that. And again, toggling back and forth and seeing which one is going to portray what you want that visualization to be portraying. And that's um, uh, how you use groups in Tableau.